YouTube, this is Brick Builder here, and I'm so excited to show you this mock I created of Journey to the Center of the Earth from the 50s. So let's get straight into it. So if you really don't know what Journey to the Center of the Earth is, well, it's based on pretty much a professor and his friends, uh, his students, who gave him a rock um, he, from a volcano over the Atlantic. And... They f they find out that that they accidentally uh put poured too much of this moisture. I don't know what it was into this rock, and um, anyway, inside of it was a crystal crystal uh glass thing that a professor had made who went to the, to the center, who supposedly went to Iceland and to the center of the Earth. So it goes on and on. Anyway. This is my mock of when they were down at, at the center, getting close to the center of the earth. They um, they lose the professor's friend. I forgot what his name's name is. And I, quite frankly, I forgot what all their names is except for Hans and his little duck. Right here. Yeah. So basically, I made the ragged cr cliffs and these rock, rocks and gems all over. And this is the part where uh, the woman thinks she hears feet st steps and she doesn't know uh, who it was. No one believes her except for um, the guy who I forgot his name was also right here. With all the equipment next to him. Anyway, pretty much they um, are up there trying to beat them to the center of the earth. And I don't know how being above them will beat them to a certain bear, but anyway, watch the movie. You'll like it. So I have Hans and his duck right here. Here, let me fix this. There we go. That's Hans. He's looking at his duck. He's got his torch in his hand. This is after the part where um, they lose their lamps and stuff because they're corroded with salt. So yeah, I made this custom rope um, thing. Like, what do they call these? Um, coil of rope, custom. And um, yeah, I have walking sticks right next to everyone. This is the part where they're about to go uh, to night. It was like almost nighttime at this scene. So yeah, here's all the equipment next to them right there stuff. Yes, the rope and the stick. And the duck, um, I tried to make it look as much realistic as it was, but it didn't turn out as I hoped it would be. So, yeah. And I have the professor over here trying to mine this gem. Right there, trying to get a sample. And in the movie, um, Susie takes the gem, all the crystals fall and water starts coming out of a hole where the gems were, and it pretty much floods the room. So yeah, and I've never done this technique before, but if you see I used black in the background like when they're leaving the cave, I never do that, I really leave it hollow and build out into the open like that, but since I was so limited on time, I decided to do it like this. So yeah, I think it turned out a lot better than I expected it to. I have a giant crystal right here, smaller crystal of blue, yellow, red, green, stuff. And I didn't get the minifigures all right and stuff, correctly as they looked, but I got as close as I could. Like the girl, she had red hair instead of brown hair and stuff. Professor didn't have a beard, I actually I gave him the Indiana Jones head. It's the only head I had that wasn't being in use. That battle axe I had, I had to take it apart just to do this. So yeah. And over here, um, when I was saying uh, how they heard feet up, um, pretty much this is the other professor who's trying to beat him to the center of the earth. And his henchman, who later dies in it. And so does this professor. They both die. I think he gets shot by him. Because he didn't do what he said, um, and he gets, yeah, no, he died by an avalanche later in it, so yeah. It's actually not that, uh, 
scary and stuff from the movie for y'all younger ones. So I, I recommend you to watch it. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe, like, and comment. Tell friends and family about this channel, and I'll see you all later. Bye!